Hello guys, I would like to show you this uh, crudely built plasma light I've made yesterday to um, ignite fireworks. Um, it's built in uh, 30 minutes, so don't expect much. Uh, that 30 minutes also includes harvesting the components uh, for this. Um, I, I, I had this switch um, in, in, a, in, a, in a box full of them because I bought some of the East German surplus. Uh, this was uh, th this heatsink was scavenged from a UPS. This one from an audio amplifier. These two batteries and the connectors come from smoke detectors because we changed ours recently. Uh, this box comes from a uh, speed controller for a fan that was broken out of the box. I uh, could have repaired it, but eh, I would like to have its components. Uh, the fly bag was salvaged from an old TV. It's um, not one of the newer flybacks, it's one of the older ones. Um, it was from a solid state television, but from the start um, of solid state televisions, so around 70s. Let me show you how it runs. It creates, um, it creates a nice arc between the two terminals and it does get hot. And um, the, the batteries are already like nearly drained because this circuit is a very uh, current demanding from the battery so there's around like four amps of current from these two batteries going into the circuit which is bad because it drains the batteries very fast and um, I doubt this circuit is very efficient because it's very simple. Um, at first the, the arcs were um, half a centimeter uh, uh, large but uh, since I had a lot of fun playing with it yesterday uh, the arc length decreased to uh, five millimeters instead of one centimeter. <laughs> uh, the heart uh, of the circuit is, of course, the flyback transformer, which uh, creates the high voltage for the arc. It is driven by a single transistor, which uh, is simple, but it's uh, not an effective way of driving it. So the p the power gets provided by two nine volt batteries for the current demand for the because this circuit draws a lot of current. So when you uh, close the switch, there's going to be current uh, from the batteries uh, through the feedback winding into the base of the transistor, limited by this resistor right here, because otherwise this uh, this transistor wouldn't like that. And since there's uh, uh, current passing from the base to the emitter. There's going, there's going to be even more current flowing the, from the collector to the emitter because the transistor amplifies the base current uh, beta times, and that is the collector current. Uh, I'm actually using a Darlington transistor, so there are two transistors in one package. So this means that this transistor will already amplify the base current, and this transistor will amplify that even more. So it's, it has massive gain. The minimum gain for this transistor listed in the datasheet is 5,000. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually reaching 5,000. Probably not, to the, because the batteries are uh, probably limiting the current because they do heat up, so the internal resistance is quite high. Um, so there's now a current also passing through the primary coil, and the current in it will rise because rise linearly until this core saturates. Uh, when this core saturates, it's basically going to stop sending negative feedback because, because when the current was rising, uh, there was an induced voltage here and the voltage that was induced here was adding to the battery voltage, which would send more current in the transistor, turning it even more on. But since at one point the core saturates, that means this can't be magnetic buildup anymore. Um, it's, it's, it's going to um, stop sending positive feedback here, so the transistor will uh, partly shut off. And it, it will basically uh, shut off. And um, all, all that magnetic flux still remaining uh, in the core will be uh, now on the, on the secondary, be, and can create a voltage overshoot, which will arc um, in, into the high voltage running. So basically this circuit works by passing current, current through it until the core saturates and it's gonna abruptly stop that flow of current. And because there's now a lot of energy in the core, that energy has to dissipate somewhere. So it's going to uh, create a high voltage spike in the secondary and it's gonna dissipate through, the, through that. 
Um, so the circuit re- self oscillates uh, due to that principle, and it's self oscillating around like two kilohertz. It's uh, unstable and it does change a lot because it changes through the um, because the distance of the electrodes changes the oscillation frequency. The battery voltage changes the oscillation frequency, and the parasitic capacitances uh, also allow some resonance action, but um, it's not very um, important. Um, th- th- this this is an oscilloscope view um, of the uh, voltage uh, on the um, on the base of the transistor. So you can see the base of the tra- transistor here is turned on because it's 0.6 volts, and it's go- it's got a constant. In this point, there's a linear cha- linear rising current in the primary until uh, the transistor closes because there's no voltage. Um, because there's no voltage on the feedback anymore, it's going to close. And uh, be- because the transistor now closed, it's going to... Um, and this one is because there's some damped oscillation to the parasitic capacitance in the circuit, so it actually oscillates a bit here uh, until it stops, and then um, the energy has dissipated, and the, tra- the transistor has nothing stopping anymore, so the voltage is going to rise to basically 0.6 volts. Uh, well, not 0.6 volts, it's like... 1.2 volts because there are two transistors in series. It's going to rise to two, 1.2 volts again on the base to emit a drop, and it's going to, it's the, the current in the base uh, going to linearly rise any, again. So the whole cycle uh, starts again. And because it's a low frequency, uh, this one also hurts when you touch it. Ask me how I know. So, uh, to improve the circuit. I mean, there's there's a lot of things you could improve. For example, to um, add an oscill to add a separate oscillator, uh, like you know a five 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 timer or something similar, to basically not have this self oscillate. So you um, so, so 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 basically you can effectively drive this. You can you can also put some resonance action to this by adding a primary capacitor and driving this at a resonance frequency. You even get more voltage and more current out of it. Which would mean uh, higher, um, which first of all mean a higher distance between the electrodes, and also a higher current, so more heat, um, because there's a lot of energy being lost in the circuit. First of all, this resistor gets hot, the batteries get hot through the internal resistance, and this transistor also um, gets a bit warm. Um, it doesn't get so so warm after I added this heatsink. This heatsink basically stayed uh, like, very cold because the transistor like remains uh, just a bit over ambient uh, because it's a pi- large transistor. So this circuit functions. It's not perfect at all, but it did work and I did have a lot of fun with it. And that's it.
ਲੈ ਤੋ